three games for the Rangers. They put him on waivers, which means anybody else could have him. None of the other 29 teams wanted him, though. So he comes back to Texas. He's been an all-star twice hey! in three years. And if the Rangers win game seven, John, he might be the MVP. Yeah, very well. Uh, could be. And certainly the center of attention for a different way, but uh, a big part of why they won that game last night. Two balls and two strikes on it. You can make the argument that that grand slam obviously broke the game open. It was a two-run lead at the time. So many contributing factors could have still played into that game, and it was all over in one swing of the bat. And we'll be talking about it as this game goes on if it's tight because it meant they got to get LeClerc out, have him pitch this one inning instead of two. Everybody available down there for Texas, probably with the exception of Vivaldi. Everybody else in play. This tied Nelson Cruz for the most RBIs in one postseason. Last of the back to back pennants for Texas. Garcia starts the third and drives one the other way down the line and it's fair he's got another he does Adolis Garcia owning October playing the villain role to perfection and it's four to one Texas this might be one of the best at bats of his career two fastballs painted away for strikes he took a couple and then the same fastball away that's a very good pitch that he just hit like a left hander hooking it down the line I mean that we didn't see any of that yesterday we saw a guy swinging as hard as he could and so far tonight we've seen a much different Texas lineup Disciplined and short to the ball. That's why.